Today, we're going to meditate together, mindfulness meditation. So we're going to be focusing on the breath. And the breath is the focus of our attention. So here, we want to keep our attention and whenever the distraction comes, because the mind keeps bringing us ideas, distractions, thoughts, memories, doubts, the to-do list, did I turn off the oven? So the monkey mind has, in, at least in my case, become stronger over the years. I think in my case, it's because of my use of screens and media, social media. And I think we're just bombarded these days with information and our minds just get used to that speed. It's like the hamster running around the wheel. And meditation comes in very handy because it allows us to slow down the mind, to start to bring it back to a more calm state, not just the mind, but the body, the spirit. So today we're going to sit in a cross-legged position. If this is not comfortable for you, or you can sit, you can lie down on the floor. That's fine. But the idea is that we keep our spine straight. Uh, so it doesn't have to be very rigid. It just has to be comfortably straight, let's just say. And the neck as well. Don't let the neck, the jaw just fall down, slouching. So really trying to keep up the chest, the heart open, uh, but still not rigid, just comfortable. As the neck is long, imagine there's a string pulling from your crown, the crown of your head. All right, so let's all close our eyes. Bring your hands on your knees, on your thighs, or in any kind of mudra. I like to bring my left hand underneath and my right hand on top, and then the thumbs touch. Let's take a big inhale together, sending the breath down the chest, into the ribcage, into the abdomen, pelvic floor, relaxing the internal organs, and let's just side out. Two more times like that, deep inhale, sending it to all parts of the chest, the back, the sides of the body and side out one more time deep inhale and side out so we're going to stay here for about five minutes and during these five minutes just try to keep observing yourself, observing your mind, and if there's any thoughts that come to your mind, just observe them and acknowledge them and just let them pass without anger, without judgment. Just let those thoughts pass. The practice of meditation, of mindfulness meditation, is exactly that. Observing when our focus, our attention has drifted to a distraction. And then we come back. And it's in the coming back to the attention that we actually exercise mindfulness meditation. So again, if you haven't closed your eyes, please do so now. We're going to stay here for about five minutes. Relaxing the breath. Observing anything that's happening. Observing the sensations in your body. Letting go of any expectations and just staying here in the moment with yourself.
Coming back to the breath. Focusing on the breath, the sensation of the air going down your nose, the throat, the chest. The sensation of your belly expanding. Letting all thoughts go, coming back to the breath. The breath is our guide. The breath is the pillar. The breath helps us to come back to the present moment. in the here and the now. Noticing any sensations and just come to peace if you feel a little bit jittery, that's what it is. If you feel bored, just acknowledge that you're bored, that's it. A lot of these not so positive sensations, thoughts. There are the real challenges and that's what make our practice be a practice. So in a way we want to thank those distractions because they allow us to come back to the present to practice meditation without judgment. They are what they are. If you start to get sleepy because you've managed to calm the mind, the body, and all of a sudden it becomes difficult to stay in this position, maybe you want to try inhaling and exhaling a little bit bigger. It's like when we go into sleeping mode, our breath goes even shallower. So when we meditate and relax, that happens too, but then we might drift into sleepy mode and we still want to be here in the present. So allow yourself to take a few deep breaths. That might, that might help you stay a little bit more awake, bringing more oxygen into your brain. And 
and slowly we're going to start opening our eyes but still maintaining a soft gaze on the floor. Notice what happens when we just open our eyes a little bit, but we still stay in meditative mode. Soft gaze. For a lot of people, having their eyes slightly open with a soft gaze on the floor is a way for them to stay in meditation for a little longer if by closing the eyes they get too sleepy or they can't focus just having something to look at on the floor that's also meditation and we start to deepen our inhales and exhale completely opening your eyes a little bit more coming back to the room still with a soft gaze still focusing on your breath and now ask yourself what has shifted in these past five minutes that we've been sitting together today What have you noticed? How are you feeling now compared to five minutes ago? It's pretty incredible, right? And all you had to do was close your eyes and focus on your breath. So I invite you to do this at any time during the day when you're starting to feel a little bit anxious, stressed, monkey mind is taking over. Find a quiet place, somewhere in the room, in the, cla- in the house, wherever you are. And close your eyes and just tune in. And you'll see how very quickly, in a few minutes, you, man- you manage to shift your brain, your mind, your energy level. And come back to your balanced state, closer to your higher self. Alright, take care. Namaste.